today from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. Sean Watson and the Houston Texans taking on Zach Wilson and the New York Jets. Sean, a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. They do it big here in Houston and a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this tech Great play here. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Play action. It's Wilson. And incomplete to open things up. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper, at least a great situation for them upcoming there. I'm beaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So, I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game, maybe more than any other on the schedule, because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead, make sure they take care of business in this one. Otherwise, you're talking about a double trap. The trap of losing the game and then having the open week and having to stew about it. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now it's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. That's to the veteran tight end Carter Landry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Five catches, 54 yards, and a touchdown. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Here's Wilson. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. Now Wilson on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He finds Corey Davis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, they'll try to run it. He'll get three up to midfield. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're not doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Flushed out right. Toward the sideline, it's complete. An athletic grab, but still well short of the first. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that nearly... ...turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. On second down now, Seymour. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Desmond King there on the coverage. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. It'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return, is he? Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Flush to his right. Airing one out for Crowder. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Wilson. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. To throw once more on second and 10. Wilson on the slant. He's got Davis. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 13-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he'll get this down inside the 5 to the 4 before he's out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this time he is in. Yes. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Jets have a chance to tie the game here in the final. So this offense will head back out there already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll run on first down. Seymour, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On second down, Seymour. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. What's the old adage, partner? Don't judge the book by its cover, because this guy, he takes the mantra that he'll go down with a brisk gust of wind and sets it on its head. Great effort there to break a tackle and come up with a nice game. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. His second... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They go play action with Wilson. Steps away. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Play action. Now Wilson. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They go play action now. Wilson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And the Texans are... have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Wilson's throw taken in by Landry. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. Now a throw here to his running back, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Partner, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Here's Wilson. Quick slant to Crowder. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Throwing now is Wilson. They okay, will find Davis. That's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Wilson to throw. Rolling to his right. Now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Wilson. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he's across for the touchdown. It's likely the game winner here in the closing stage. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as he'll quickly head back onto the field. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So for the Jets, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Houston, the losses are piling up as they drop to 1-5 and five now. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road 